You're welcome back to The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. We're now talking security, and the focus is the herders, farmers, clashes that you know have heated political discussions and security discourse in the past few weeks, and in fact, years, to be honest. And right now, the Senate is stepping in. They say they'll be having a discussion about this issue, debating it in the Senate today. Yes, yeah, so we have invited a political analyst, Mark Adebayo, to help us make sense of this. Good morning, sir, and thanks for joining us. Us. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm Fine. Good. Thank you. All right. It's only the first time the Senate is actually sitting on these kind of issues in the country. Why do you think it will be different this time? I don't think there will be any difference. I really do not see any likelihood of. Uh, they are sitting on it, making any difference today. I, because, you know, Nigerian leaders have a way of uh, finding difficult solution to an easy problem. You understand? Uh, at the end of the day, after their discussions, you will discover that it will just be another talk shop. It will be another talk shop without any concrete solution to this terrible crisis to this terrible mayhem, to this menace, to this others, killer others violence against the rest of us. Uh, it is not a farmer harder clash. It is, it is the terrorism of the killer others against the nation, against the rest of us. That is what it is. So, and uh, you know, it is not the, 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 the legislature that will take action against these people. It is the executive. The only thing that the legislation can do for all of us is to... Is, is to legislate is to make a law that will ban open grazing all over Nigeria. That is the simplest solution to this problem. All you need to do is to, to have a law that bans open grazing throughout the length and breadth of Nigeria. And by then, you'll be able to sort out this problem. Yeah. It is not about talk shop. It is not about uh, discussion. It is about action now. Right, it is Bayer. about action now. Mr. Adebayo, do, do you um, expect that, you know, that is even remotely possible, that is, uh, the Senate can take, you know, such a, a step and ban open grazing in the whole country? Um, and besides that, you know, what exactly do you expect that they should be talking about today when they meet? Uh, well, um, I, I am pessimistic, actually, about this, the current uh, legislature, Senate or House of Reps to be able to make a law that will seem to make the federal government total worry uncomfortable. Because if the legislature should make if the legislature should make a law banning open grazing, the president, this current president, will not sign it. He will veto it by refusing to sign it. He will veto it because, as for him, it is the Nigerian masses who are suffering from the onslaught and the menace of these killer others that see it as a as a problem. But the president, the current president, does not see it as a problem at all. So, and that is where our problem is. So, the, the, the current legislature that has sworn to make sure they do everything, you know, with their power to support the presidency of Buhari, we not try, we not legislate on any law that will seem to make the president uncomfortable. So well, they are not they, likely. They are, they are, they are not, not likely to make such laws be... to ban open crazy across Nigeria. But that is the solution. Yeah, but they that are an arm of government problem. that really should, you know, be able to stand, you know, firm. You know, you've described them as supporting the executive and supporting the current president. Is that correct? Do you think that's exactly who they are? Shouldn't they be, a, you know, an arm of government that should be able to stand firm and take their own decisions? The constitution gives the legislature the responsibility to regulate the activities of, of the executive. But this current legislature, this current Senate and House of Reps, are a rubber stamp. They are a mere rubber stamp. I make both to say that. You know, I, I challenge them to prove me contrary. They are a rubber stamp. You remember, even before the 2019 general elections, the current president of the Senate, you know, Vowed that he, will, he was going to the Senate to carry out whatever is the interest of the president, including if the president requests for a total. 
That's what the current president of Senate said. Uh, you, can, you, can, you can check it. You can fact check what I'm saying. And you know, when he became Senate president, he confirmed it by saying that whatsoever the bill, whatsoever request that president brings to them, they will approve it. Because they believe that everything the president asks for is for the benefit of Nigerians, which is not, which is not the, the, the truth. You know, the, look, why are we looking for difficult solutions for a simple problem? Why? Why not just, by the, even by executive order from the presidency, you can ban open crazy across the country and save lives and stop the rape and stop the kidnapping and stop the mayhem and stop the killing and stop the destruction. By one, by a stroke of the pen, you can stop this, this thing. Okay. We Mark cannot have a country where anybody can just have animals roaming about. And because of you want your animals to feed, you know, you can kill people. You can shed blood. No. It is unacceptable. It is preposterous. It is absolutely reprehensible. Hmm. Mark Adebayo, you say that simply with an executive order, the president can ban open grazing. But we know that lots of states in the southwest have banned open grazing in their own states. And if you say the Senate would not do this because, according to you, they simply want to do the bidding of the executive, then this doesn't seem possible, is it? You know, truly, governors have come out to say there's no uh, open grazing. But I think what they have said is that there's no night grazing and they, they are banning the grazing uh, of animals by uh, Honoring, by um, by children. But that cannot solve the problem. It is not the time they grace or who graces that is the problem. The problem is that open grazing is said, whether day or night, is a problem for all of us. Once you stop open grazing and you make it compulsory for people to go and ranch their cattle, that, these problems we automatically at least minimum of 95% of it, we automatically fizzle out. At least we do not have people going to farms to destroy people's farms. At least we do not have cows going to classrooms. We do not have cows blocking the road. We do not have people using cows to block the road and, and kidnap people. Th those problems will fizzle out. Then we can now, you know, zero in. in oh. At least it is not kidnappers that go to farms and destroy farms. It is not robbers that go to farms to destroy farms. It is these cattle two herders that, that cause all those Oh, it seems to you be ban open grazing, you automatically solve that problem. All right. All right. Also, you know, um, I don't know if you would also agree that this is maybe a little too late. You know, these conversations should have been have, uh, had ye years ago. But, you know, there's also a problem of kidnapping, not just, you know, farmers and herders clashes like it has been described. There's kidnapping, there's banditry, there's militants, you know, that are killing people in different parts of the country. Yes, they reported 19 people killed in uh, Kaduna, and, you know, that wasn't necessarily a, a headers, you know, issue. So, you know, once again, you know, what would you expect that the National Assembly, well, the Senate, should be discussing today with regards security in general um, to ensure that we have a different um, approach towards this and, of course, maybe see some su um, success, you know, from our security agencies? Well, um, I, I don't know whether you heard it when I said that it is not arm robbers that destroy farms. It is not uh, bandits that destroy farms. It is not uh, bandits that go to farms to rape people on their farms. It is not. Uh, there is the difference between bandits, uh, uh, the bandits and uh, terrorist others. There, there are bandits. There are uh, military terrorists, Boko Haram and Co, Iswap and Co. But the killer others are also terrorists in their own. So, but if you want to stop these killer others from carrying out their problems, you will have some minimum of 70% of the insecurity problems we have in this country. Just stop them from grazing their, their cattle openly. Stop free roaming of animals. You know, the states that you said that, uh, I've said they are banning open, they don't have the power to, to enforce the laws. In Tarapa State, the governor of Tarapa State brought out a uh, mashal to enforce the uh, ba uh, open grazing ban. The federal government sent soldiers to arrest the Mashars. The same thing happened in, in Benue State. What the Senate will be doing today, to be discussed today, is to impress it upon the president to have the political will and the humanity to defend Nigerians, to protect Nigerians against terrorist others. He should stop seeing himself as strictly the grand patron of Mieti Allah. He should see himself as the president of Nigerians. These are the people who voted, who voted for you that killer others are killing. And we are shouting. You know, it's so unfortunate that there's nobody, there's no voice, higher voice, speaking for, for the rest of us, speaking for the farmers, you know? I, I don't, I, actually, I don't know what the Farmers Association are doing. 
Do, I don't even know whether we still have the farmers association of Nigeria again. Fan. I really don't know whether I will still have them again. Because if they are available, they should be the ones coming out and protecting their interest. By put, look at the way BAT, whether you like it or not, whether they are, they, are, they are criminals or not, they have an organization that is protecting their interest. Look at them coming to coming to Akure and two governors from the north accompany them to come and discuss the issue of, uh, uh, of insecurity. You know, so we, 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 are, we are the farmers' associations. We are the farmers' associations. Why should it be only the Agbekoya in the southwest that they are now rising up to protect and defend the interests of the of the farmers? Okay, right. Doctor Adebayo. Know, it was because nobody did anything about farmers that these people are now coming to the roads to kidnap people. Okay. You know, it is, it is, you know there is no farmer at that class. It is the terrorism of the Hadas we should be discussing. Okay, if the the situation right now is that these you know the cattle of the herders, you know, go into farms and destroy their their farmlands. And we're saying, let's, if you're saying the solution to this is to totally ban open grazing, would it not now be the same thing as, you know, taking away the source of their livelihood? Because these people, they don't have training, the requisite training for ranching, do they? Well, uh, we should not be playing with our, paying with our lives for their ignorance. That is not an excuse. Whether they have training or do not have training about ranching is not our problem. We should not be paying with our blood and our lives. I'm That's saying, should the government not be focusing on that? Should the government... For, for to allow people to continue to die. Mark Adebayo, I'm simply saying for us to have like a holistic solution to this, yeah. should the government not be talking about training these farmers, these herders, on modern ranching technologies, modern ranching techniques, such that, you know, when open grazing is finally banned, we know that this is what they've been trained on, on how to do, and they know how to do it and we're solving this problem once and for all. What do you think about that? Two governors, two state governors have given us a clear solution to these problems. They have offered, they have offered thousands of hectares of lands. Kano State, Niger State. They said, come over. In fact, in Kano State, they have put in some machinery. They have put infrastructure on ground. Large expanse of land that come over, we will take care of you. Why are we, why are we so hell-bent on allow a free roaming of criminals and animals to destroy our lives and our farms and our livelihood? You know, one livelihood must not consume another livelihood. You can now allow, look, cannot, Niger State is saying, look, we, we, we have land that is even bigger than West African countries. So come over, and we, we, are, we are going to provide you with the land, we are going to provide you with infrastructure, we are going to provide you with the training and... I think we lost him again. Um, that's um, unfortunately uh, where we'll have to end uh, the conversation for today. And of course, uh, when we get feedback from the Senate's discussions, we hope that we can bring you in again to have a follow-up um, interview. Thank you for your time. Thank you. And thanks for speaking with us. You know, it's been very heated here talking about security, as always. So we'll be having our in-house entertainment correspondent to discuss, yes, to discuss this with us after the break. Do stay with us.